What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on these shoes. These are the Dr. Martens 3989 Brogues and I love these shoes. These were my first pair of Doc Martens. These were the first ones I ever bought three or four years ago and I still love them. These are still probably my favorite pair. So in this video, I'm going to go through the shoe itself, I'm going to go through you know the style, a quick overview of the different features of the shoe and then I'm going to go into the fit and the sizing of the shoe because that's very important with Dr. Martens and then I'm going to go through a few looks that I really love with these shoes. The 3989 Brogue is one of Dr. Martens more classic silhouettes. It's not as famous or as well known as the 1461 which is sort of that low cut shoe that you all know. It's the all black with the yellow stitching. That is you know their, their classic shape but these are also one of Dr. Martin's classic shapes. If we go around the shoe itself we have the classic Dr. Martin's airwear sole. It's super bouncy so it is rubber but it is springy. If you guys haven't worn a Dr. Martin shoes I encourage you guys to go to a store and just try some on because they're not like your you know more modern boost kind of soft. It still feels rubbery but it's, it's soft, it's not stiff, which makes walking in these very, very comfortable. And one of the reasons why I love Dr. Martin so much. If we move on to the upper of the shoe, it has your traditional Dr. Martin smooth leather. It is, it, this shoe normally comes in a more matte satin look, but I polished mine as soon as I got them to give it this nice shine, which I think re looks really cool. If you guys want a tutorial on how to polish or how to shine your Dr. Martens, just let me know in the comment box down below and I'll be sure to show you guys that. You have your full wingtip, so it goes from the, it starts in the front and then it goes all the way to the back. It has your broguing as well and then that extends to sort of this area by the laces again all the way to the back and then up here on top you have your nice laces these are really thin laces they've held up pretty well over the years so I haven't had to replace them super good the reason why I like these shoes so much is because I think that they are a nice blend of you know slightly dressy but still very casual you can wear these shoes every day and in fact when I first got these shoes I did wear them every single day and I wore them you know every single day for for a long Time. If we go to the sole of the shoe, you can see that it's held up pretty well. I do have some sort of wear in the in the heel area and in the toe area, but the rest of the the sole area looks still still fresh. It looks pretty good, and this this will for sure last me many 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 years. If we go to the upper, the wear the only wear in the shoe is sort of in this toe area. It has some creasing, slight creasing, uh, but not really that much. It looks like you know very very basic creasing from from typical wear of the shoe other than that these shoes have held up pretty well and i'm still super super happy with them these are the type of shoes where if i ever wear these out i can just go to the store get another pair and just be happy with those shoes it's sort of a forever shoe if you will so if we go into sizing for a bit sizing is a little bit tricky because with dr martens they only offer full sizes for most of the sizes that most people will wear so all the way up to size 10 us or 11 us i think they only offer full sizes so they go from you know six seven eight 9, 10. They don't have like nine and a half, eight and a half, those kinds of sizes. So you will have to go to a store if you really want to figure out what your true fit with the Dr. Martens is. So I typically wear a nine for most dress shoes and that holds true with the Dr. Martens. I fit the nine really well. I didn't need to break these shoes in really at all. There was, you know, some rubbing in my toe, my pinky toe, my big toe, and some in the heel, but that's really just typical from wearing a brand new leather shoe, but it wasn't so severe that I had blisters everywhere. It was just, you know, you could feel it rubbing against your skin. But after a few wears of the shoe, it became, you know, very comfortable. I, I feel like it's really molded to my feet very well. So what I would say, and what I always recommend to people who get Dr. Martens, is that if you are in that, you know, full size category, if you're a seven and eight or nine, just get that size and you should be good uh, with that shoe. Now, if you're in the middle, if you're like a nine and a half, an eight and a half, I would, you know, again, recommend trying them in store, but usually what happens when you do that is you usually size down. I think that's the more comfortable way to go because I've tried a size bigger and the size difference is much, 
much bigger when you go up that full size. So I prefer having that more fitted uh, fit and having it loosen up a little bit over time rather than it being too loose and having to wear, you know, two, three pairs of socks just to make it fit okay. But again, if you guys are unsure, just go to the store, check out the sizes, try them on, see how they feel, just so that you know that they are, you know, right for you. So now let's get into the different looks with the shoe. Now when I first got the shoe, I would wear these shoes with more skinny jeans that were cuffed up, which, you know, is a super cool look, but these days my favorite way of wearing this has been with more straight cut trousers or pants and, and still having either a crop on them or having them cuffed up uh, for that more casual look. And I will wear that with either socks or you know no-show socks depending on the look that I want. But because the shoe is so chunky, it's not the chunkiest shoe out there, but because it has you know some mass to it, some some weight to it, I do like pairing it up with with something that also holds that same type of weight or that same type of look. I think it just goes really well. Now I also do wear these with shorts, so I don't only wear these with pants. I do think they look with good with shorts as well. It's not a look that everyone's going to be comfortable with, uh, but I like wearing it with shorts, especially here in Manila. It's super, super hot most of the year, so shorts are definitely a must when you can wear them, but I still think these shoes look good with shorts. So that is it guys. That was my review of these 3989 Brogues by Dr. Martens. Again, these are my favorite, favorite pair of Dr. Martens. They'll always hold a special place in my heart because they were my first pair ever. And again, it's a forever shoe for me. So if these ever wear out, I'm probably going to get another pair just like this. I might try something else, maybe the Made in England's that are all black, maybe some with the yellow stitching, I don't know, but these are super, super cool. I love them, and if you guys are interested, I'm going to leave a link down below to these shoes, as well as, you know, different stores you might be able to get them here in the Philippines. So go check those out if you're interested, and yeah, that's it for my review. I'll see you guys in the next video.